Welcome to my van. This is my van, Blue. She's a 1990 Volkswagen Adventure Wagon. It's such a long and cute name. So um, yeah, if you're new here, Juan and I got, Wa is my boyfriend, we got this van a couple months ago, I think maybe like six months ago, and we've just been traveling in it here and there. So right now we're in Joshua Tree National Park, and I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of my morning routine, how I get the day started, especially if I'm camping at a campground where there's no running water. So they have a bathroom here, but no running water, so I didn't have a sink to like wash my face and stuff, but I have a system, okay, I have a system. I've started camping since I was a little kid, my parents would used to always take us camping and we would just do dry camping in a tent. Um, sometimes there'd be bathrooms, sometimes there won't be any bathrooms. It would just make it work. When there's no sink, I like to start off with wiping my hands with a baby wipe. If I feel like my hands are really dirty, then I would use a disinfectant wipe, but these dry out my hands, so I usually don't like to use those unless I like just use the bathroom. And then I take a makeup cleansing wipe, and I just use this to kind of give my skin a cleanse before I get started. With camping, it's definitely a must to have all sorts of different wipes. Especially if you don't have running water. We'll eventually put in a kitchen in our van and have a sink, but for now, this is all we got. So after I cleanse my skin, I like to use my toner pads. This just makes sure that I have cleansed it as best as I possibly could. It's crazy, I didn't even do anything this morning and but the toner pad is a little dirty. <laughs> then I'll put on my skincare so I'm using the BioClarity. I talked about this on my Instagram. This is the Floralux. This is great for like acne prone skin and it's kind of like a green juice for your skin. And I've been loving the way this feels on my skin. Next up, I have to put on my sunscreen because obvious reasons, we're outdoors all day. So I just want to make sure my skin is taken care of. This is the Super Goop Matte Sunscreen with SPF 40. You know, I feel like with camping there's like two types of people there are people that still go about their normal routine such as putting on makeup doing their skincare getting dressed and then there are some people who think that that's absolutely unnecessary but i personally feel like even though i'm camping it doesn't mean that i need to be looking rough okay i feel like i still want to keep up with my normal routine i'm always taking photos and stuff so if i want to get ready a little bit a girl gonna get ready just because you're in a van or you're camping does not mean you can't get ready and like make yourself feel good you know it's not like i'm doing a full beat like i'm going to coachella but <laughs> we're gonna put on a little some some just so that we feel fresh and we feel good i'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation the foundation that i'm using is the hourglass vanish i have it in the shade warm ivory which to be honest I think it's not my shade anymore because I'm just getting really tan out here. So I take like a very small amount, just that's it. And then just start it on my skin. Just covering up some of my blemishes. And you know what, I have a question. For those of you who wear foundation on a daily, do you guys agree that when you don't wear foundation, you tend to break out more? I don't know why, but I've noticed a pattern where if I'm out and stuff like this, or just on a day-to-day -day and I'm running errands, if I don't put on a layer of foundation, I feel like my skin is almost too like exposed to the natural elements that I break out more. So I find that whenever I just use a little light layer, it's as if this is providing a barrier for my skin. I know it almost does not make sense because typically makeup clogs your pores, but I find that my skin does better when I put a little bit of foundation on or maybe like BB cream brush I'm using here is from Sigma. Sigma Max Kabuki 3D HD. So it kind of has like this interesting shape and it just gets into the grooves of your face very nicely. And I pop on some concealer under my eyes. It's the RMS Beauty Uncover Up in the shade number 22. So today on the agenda, it's a pretty chill day. This is our only full day here. It was really hard to get anything, like a, a space in Joshua Tree because it's kind of like the peak season right now. Yeah, I'm so happy we were able to get like a two night stay, but this would mean that this is just like our only full day. So today I think we're probably gonna take the dogs out for a walk. And then next up, I just like to fill in my brows a little bit. I'm using the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Warm brunette 
Next up, I'm gonna curl my lashes to put on mascara. Just putting on a little bit of mascara and curling the lashes really help the eyes look more awake. After mascara, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush. This is Kosas Tropic Equinox, and I love this because it's a cream product. And for those of you who've never played around with cream products, wow, it just, it looks as if it's just coming from within. It looks so natural. It looks like it's part of your skin, if that makes sense. And lastly, if you want a little bit of a glow, which just because we camp in does not mean we can't be glowing. I like to apply a little bit of highlighter and this is the best highlighter. If you've been looking for the best liquid cream highlighter, look no further because this is it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I have it in the shade number three, light medium. This, oh my gosh, everyone that I have introduced this product to immediately went and bought it, okay? It just looks so natural and you only need a little bit of it and you tap it in with your fingers. It's even better when you have a beauty blender, but I did not bring one, but it looks like the glow is just coming from within. It looks like your skin is just healthy and thriving. Like, do you guys just see that sheen? <gasps> Where was this product my entire life? A little bit of my nose, just to define the nose a little bit. I'm not contouring or anything crazy, but yeah, this is my natural beat for when I'm out here camping or actually this is my everyday makeup look nowadays so if you guys want to see what we did on this camping trip we'll have it vlogged on Wally TV our vlog channel and make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel I would love if you guys would click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you know whenever I upload a new video or you can just follow me on Instagram I always mention whenever we upload a new video so my Instagram is my name at Whaley and that's it comment down below if you guys would like to see more videos i know a lot of people have been very curious about this and prior to getting a van i had so many questions too so if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me leave it in the comment section down below and maybe i'll compile it into a video or if you want me to talk a little bit more about like feminine hygiene when you're camping or on the road let me know in the comments and i'll probably make a video the next time i'm on the road again i'm planning to do a solo trip by myself in this van so that'll be really fun and i'm looking forward to it so maybe i'll document that as well and answer more questions in a later video so thank you guys so much for watching hope y'all have a great day and i'll see you in the next one